Caitlin Otero, Applied Technology Specialist for Wax Additives at BIC USA. Recently, I presented a webinar for PCI Magazine about achieving the best optical and physical performance through the use of wax additives. After the webinar, I received a lot of questions about our regional production of wax additives. Since so many of our customers are dealing with supply chain challenges, I decided to go straight to the source for answers. Heinz Belkamp is a site manager and Roman Mullen is a technical service manager for QC and R&D at our U.S. Wax Additives facility. Thank you both for joining me today. Before we get to the hot topic, Hans, would you tell us a little bit about your experience and background? I started working for BYK in 1990 in the European locations. My background is chemical engineering, and I became part of the Chester team in 2012 to support the acquisition. Since 2016, I moved to the US and became the site manager in Chester. And with my experience in different departments, I'm guiding the facility to a brighter future. Thank you, Hans. Roman, when it comes to wax additives, I know you wear many technical hats. Can you tell us a little more about your role at BIC-USA? For the last nine years, I've been the technical manager for BIC-USA's wax additives facility in Chester, New York. I am responsible for quality control, production support, and R&D operations, which involve all aspects of product and process development, scale up, recipe management, and commercialization of our products. I am also the coordinator for the certification and maintenance of the site's quality management system. I have degrees in chemical engineering and MBA in finance and information systems. Your knowledge and experiences are the exact reason I asked you both to join me today. We're all hyper aware of the current supply challenges that customers and the industry overall are facing. How is the situation impacting our wax additive production facility? Also, Chester is facing delays in raw materials, but due to our organization, we are adapting quickly to the changes. Can you elaborate a little for us? Now, first of all, we have our employees. We have a mixture of experts in wax and also new employees. So that's creating a lot of new ideas to improve all the processes without jeopardizing the quality of the products. Furthermore, we also produce in batches. So the batch sizes give us a lot of flexibility to make changes in the production schedule as needed. Are there any other ways that we flex or adapt to overcome the supply challenges? Last but not least, we, we drain our products in different kinds of packaging, pails, drums, totes, tankers. And if the customer wants to have a product in a certain packaging that we don't have on stock, we also do repacks. As a commercial person, I really appreciate how our operations teams are working to prioritize our customers' needs. Roman, what do our wax additives do for our customers' coatings? Caitlin, as you know, wax additives are used for optimizing the final performance of coatings by efficiently controlling the surface effects. Some of the many benefits that wax emulsions offer the formulators are scratch resistance, abrasion and rub resistance, water repellency, anti-blocking, and slip properties. BIC have developed and produced about 70 completely aqueous wax emulsions in Chester to select from. Now, with so many different wax additives, where should a customer start to find the right solution for their formulation? Well, to find the right solution, we first assess the situation with a customer. The end application and the coding process substantially influence selection of the most appropriate wax or combination of waxes. Wax and polymer emulsions are already recognized and extensively used in aqueous formulations like wood coatings, inks, overprint varnishes, and polishes. Then we look for the desired performance. For instance, we recommend Aquaster 539 for its hydrophobic effect and improved anti-blocking. It also increases surface slip, scratch resistance, and abrasion resistance in paint and ink applications. Aquaster 539 is a 35% solids non-ionic emulsion of paraffin and polyethylene waxes. One of the nice things about our website in the BIC app is that customers can search by application. I'll make sure to post links to our site and to Aquacere 539 in the description below. Roman, are there any other benefits to using BIC wax additives that customers may not be aware of? It may be important to know that our wax additives come ready to use. They're easily incorporated by simple mixing. 
They're very fine particle size ensures thorough homogeneous incorporation with other ingredients of the formulation, which maximizes the required effects. Even if used in small quantities, typically below 3% solids content of the total composition, waxes improve performance. You mentioned water repellency. That's actually one of the performance properties that I featured in my webinar. I didn't have a lot of time to get into the technical weeds, but I did receive a few questions from listeners about what impact the emulsifier system has on water repellency. Can you talk a little bit about this? Absolutely. The emulsifier system plays an important role, particularly in terms of compatibility with other ingredients in the final coating and its target performance. Emulsifiers can be anionic, cationic, or non-ionic in nature. The most common non-ionics are fatty alcohol ethoxylates due to their excellent stability against hard water, pH shock, and electrolytes. Some applications demand different emulsifier systems, for example, anionic surfactants for anti-corrosion properties and better water repellency, or cationic surfactants for improved adhesion to certain materials like textile, or glass fibers. Thank you. Hans, how do we emulsify the waxes to contribute to the customer's desired properties? Wax emulsion is a dispersion of fine dispersed wax into water. As wax is not miscible with water, we also need to know, use a surfactant. What we do is we uh, add everything to the vessel, we heat it up above the melting point of the wax, and with good mixing and special cooling, we are making sure that we get the right particle size. A normal wax emulsion has around 25 to 30% of wax and 5 to 7.5% of surfactant. Thanks, Hans. For customers interested in wax additives made in the US, what is the typical turnaround time? Maybe you could highlight a couple destinations, just for example. Our products are sold out of our distribution centers in Chino, San Antonio, and North Haven. It means we want to make sure that we deliver the product within seven days after the order intake. Now, if we remember nothing else from this conversation, what's the one thing you would like viewers and listeners to take away from today? Important to know is that in Chester, we have wax additives for all known waxes in the industry. If for whatever reason, a certain product doesn't work, we have an R&D team ready to develop a customer specific solution. Last but not least, we are working together with our European colleagues in our so-called Wax Competence Center, where the knowledge is combined and we create synergy in our production process. I couldn't have said it better myself. Viewers and listeners, please be sure to check out the description below for all relevant links, including a Manufacturing Marvels video that was shot last summer, highlighting our big USA wax additive facility. Once again, Hans and Roman, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the invite.